get my body back to a really healthy and balanced state. Momentous. Balancing my hormones again. Gut friendly foods. They put absolutely no stress on the body. Aren't you? 7.08 kilometers. Hey! Make sure that my period stays on track. All of the supplements I'm taking in order to balance my hormones after the pill. Not being afraid to not eat clean foods all the time. morning everyone welcome back to another video i've been really really trying lately to pump out the content but i've been really far ahead so i feel like i haven't vlogged in the past few days and i've really missed it i've really missed just chatting i had a moment yesterday where i was like i genuinely don't think you guys know how much truly you all mean to me like the fact that you actually watch my videos and support me so much i just just honestly appreciate all of your love and support through all my stages and through everything that I go through so much and yeah this morning so far I cleaned up my desk a little bit because it was very messy I mean it's still I mean it's not messy but it's a bit cluttered I put these flowers there which are actually just like fake ones from Target I just feel like it looks a lot more simplistic but I just love my office so much I just wanted to kind of start my day off really really well and productive so I got up had a shower got ready my hair needs a wash so badly it has been over a week and a half but i've run out of my conditioner i have got it coming in the post but i don't know how long away it is so i'm just in this awkward phase where i'm like waiting i'm like should i it's getting to a point that's just not okay but anyway let's start let's not focus on that then i've just come into my office as you can see and i wanted to just pump out a bit of work to start the day off reply to some emails sent some stuff off that needed to be sent off now i'm sitting here in my very messy office this this is the parcel I got yesterday, Odie's toys, tripod, clothes and toys. I need to give this a clean today, that's for sure. But today I thought I would kind of follow on from my last video, which was where I really opened up about my experience on the pill and kind of all the health implications that i experienced if you haven't seen that video i'll link it up in the cards and in the description box if you want to see as well kind of wanted this vlog to be a bit of a health update in terms of what i'm doing to get my body back to a really healthy and balanced state is this a weird spot to put you i don't know you're currently balancing on my water bottle so we'll see how well this goes but i really really want to focus these next few months on and i guess however long it takes on really balancing my hormones again i'm so far been off the pill for about a week now i think a week and a half almost and so far my skin i haven't noticed a difference in my skin which i'm really surprised about i thought uh, my skin was going to break out really really badly i mean like touch wood i'm hoping it doesn't to be fair i have been doing everything in my power to uh, balance my hormones and just like eat foods that i know are really nourishing and good for my body to just kind of like help the process a bit and kind of heal my gut so i thought maybe today i could kind of run you through a what i eat in a day at the moment because i'm really focusing on gut friendly foods and i'm just really trying to focus on healing my body and healing my gut from the inside out i'll show you through some of the supplements i'm taking as well i've been taking some like hormone balancing herbs and probiotics also just kind of run you through the almost lifestyle changes i'm making as well to make sure that my hormones can balance out and that i'm not putting too much stress on my body in terms of working working out and just like really lifestyle and what's around me yeah i just kind of wanted this vlog to be a bit of an update where i just kind of like talk you guys through everything i'm doing at the moment with coming off the pill oh it just got really dark um yeah with coming off the pill healing my gut healing bloating healing my skin which at the moment obviously i do have makeup on but at the moment i'm so surprised it hasn't broken out i'm so sorry but i don't want to don't want to manifest that we're not putting that energy out maybe either it hasn't kind of hit yet or all of the things that I've been doing are working. But I think before we get into any of the supplements I'm taking and what kind of workouts and everything I'm doing at the moment, I'm gonna show you my favorite breakfast at the moment because it's like, what is the time? Yeah, it's 9.30 and I'm getting very hungry for breakfast. I thought I'd show you my current fave.
there you have it this has been my go-to breakfast for probably the past week literally oh hello good morning you haven't been on today's vlog yet odie no <laughs> <laughs> got a good source of protein and fats in it from the peanut butter and the protein powder which i'm really trying to focus on in just balancing my hormones and making sure that they're not going to go all out of whack i find oats digest really really well for me as well so this is just my perfect breakfast at the moment isn't it Hey. so i'm just gonna sit out here in the sun it's beautiful warm weather today literally feels like summer i'm just gonna sit outside get some sunshine fresh air and eat my breakfast teddy bear he's so cute he's actually a teddy bear he is booked in for a haircut next week aren't you oh oh my goodness this is so precious okay so i thought i would sit down and chat to you guys about all of the supplements i'm taking in order to balance my hormones after the pill and get my gut back to a good place in the hopes that my skin stays good and my period balances back out. So the ones that I took this morning that you have already seen me take, I literally do not go a day without this. I love it. And it's just the Vitality Switch from Switch Nutrition. I will link all of the supplements I talk about in the description box if you would like to check any of them out. But this one is just like an overall greens powder, but it doesn't taste like absolute dirt like a lot of other ones do. You get it in a bunch of different flavors. I just got the Matcha Mint and I love this one. But it's got matcha green tea, mint leaf, broccoli sprout extract, organic spinach powder, organic kale powder, cracked cell chlorella, wild crafted watercress, celery seed extract, organic spirulina. That's like the super green blend in it. And then there's like an organic mushroom blend in it. And then there's also a digestive enzyme blend and a gut blend. And a cleanse and support blend with like coriander seed, dandelion root extract, organic ginger root, organic rosemary, oregano leaf extract. I honestly didn't even realize that there was so much in this. Wow, I thought it was just greens powder, but it's literally, it does so much. I was just taking this as like an overall greens just to get my greens in, but it also helps with digestion, gut, and just like overall health support. As you saw, I just put this in water and downed it, and the things that I mixed with it, this one is lion's mane. Basically just helps with memory, mental clarity and concentration, nervous system, athletic recovery, balanced mood, and immune strength. So just kind of like an overall good supplement to take. And then this one specifically I'm loving taking with trying to balance my hormones because this one is a hormonal balance energy beauty longevity tonic herbal formula for the feminine it says on it and this one helps with immunity energy hormonal balance mental clarity stress relief cellular regeneration radiance healthy circulation and emotional equilibrium are we getting like these are powerhouses so i kind of just make like a massive drink in the morning with these three going straight into my empty stomach and it might be wrong i have no i've never read anything about this but i feel like it like absorbs it more if it's on an empty stomach I don't know. and then i've also just started taking for probably only about five days i want to say evening primrose oil which i saw someone say really helped their skin and i basically was like well if it's gonna help my skin i'm gonna give it a red hot shot it just says cold press rich source of gla for healthy skin omega-6 so i guess this is just like really good omegas i'm not really sure i haven't really done too much research on it but i found out about it from a really reputable source so i was like okay i'll try it so this next thing i ordered and I really want to start taking them. And they are the JS Health Skin and Digestion Tablets. But the thing is, right, they are just... Like, I'm not very good at swallowing tablets. I'm getting better. But they are just massive. Can you see how big that is? It is huge. And I I can't... Oh, I just cannot see well like this and i'm so annoyed because i really want to take them so if anyone has any suggestions like should i just break it up and like eat it in some honey or should i try and cut it in half and i don't know i don't know i don't know if anyone has any tips on helping me please do because i really want to start taking these i've seen amazing amazing pictures 
from other girls who've started taking this for their skin. Next two are things that I keep in the fridge. The first one is this beauty renewal kind of like a liquid it's a multi-strain probiotic concentrate to promote gut health and glowing skin so again this is literally everything that i want to be taking every single day i'm almost out like i probably only got one to two servings left and i'm so sad i'm gonna have to get some more i love this it also tastes delicious because it's like this berry flavor this one sorry i feel like i'm talking loads about supplements if you're bored skip past this but i love kind of talk about supplements and what i'm taking so I hope you guys are interested in this. I'm not sure. But the next thing is just this bio-fermented turmeric with ginger and black pepper. This is raw probiotics and superfoods. Basically, I just know that turmeric is such a great anti-inflammatory for the body. It has turmeric powder, ginger root, and black pepper. And black pepper basically makes it so that the turmeric can be absorbed. It's a raw probiotic concentrate to support friendly bacteria for a healthy, happy gut. I just take 15 meals every single day. Oh, and I forgot one more thing. I actually got these in my latest Goodness Me box, which you guys would have seen if you follow me over on Instagram. I did a bit of a haul, a little sample size, but it is called, I think it's the brand Femme 21. And it says, for women who want to balance their hormones naturally, hormonal balancing, liver and digestive cleansing, alkalizing drink. So I was like, as soon as I saw this, I was like, this is exactly what I need after coming off the pill. In here, there was just five sachets. I've only had one because I only started yesterday and it tasted disgusting. Honestly, like I, I was drinking it and then afterwards I was just like, Ooh, it was so gross. But I always feel like the stuff that's the grossest is the stuff that works the most. So I'm going to continue taking this over the next five days. Then I guess I won't really start to see a difference, but I think I might order some more. So yeah, those are all the supplements I'm taking. I realize it's quite a lot, but I'm really just trying to focus so much on balancing my hormones and making sure that my gut is happy. Just trying to give my body as much support as I can to just balance out and hopefully not break out in my <laughs> some computer work over the past couple of hours I want to say as you saw I had that snack tea and a pear it's just like my go-to afternoon snack at the moment I don't know why it's just like the perfect mixture of like satisfying and sweet also which I completely forgot to film had a punnet of blueberries before I left as well but as you can now see I have left the house I know big things and I am just on a walk I have been loving getting back into my walks when isolation kind of began I was doing walks every single day I loved it and then with the move I just kind of fell out of the routine and just stopped doing it um, but over the past week I want to say I've been getting back into my walks and I have been loving it I forgot how much I loved them they're such a good form of exercise they put absolutely no stress on the body which is something I'm really focusing on in trying to balance my hormones because in the past I have overtrained a lot and thrown my hormones out by putting a lot of stress on my body through workouts so with trying to just like make sure that my period stays on track and making sure that my hormones are balanced and leveled out i'm really focusing on non-stressful movement oh my god it's starting to rain <laughs> Should I go home? I don't know how long it's gonna last. Okay, well this is the biggest fail ever. I haven't even walked a kilometer yet. I've walked 0.93 kilometers. It's raining. Can you feel it? Oh my god, the wind. Found a shelter, so I'm just standing here. I mean, the sun is still out. I think I'll wait here for like five minutes and then if it's still going, I'll just go home. I guess this is a good opportunity to sit down and really focus on what I was talking about. It's really windy as well, isn't it? 
I'm really trying to focus on doing movement every single day that's not putting stress on my body so I'm focusing less on high intensity workouts and I honestly haven't even been doing that much strength workouts lately as well I do want to get a bit more into that but mostly I've been focusing on Pilates and just going for long walks I've been honestly loving it I feel like even just mixing up my training is a huge thing when you're not feeling that motivated as well so I think probably over the next month or two as I'm trying to balance my hormones as I've got a million times I'm really going to focus on movement that puts very little stress on the body it stopped okay it's getting lighter okay it stopped I can continue I'm trying to go for walks three to four times a week I usually aim for about six k's which takes me roughly about an hour most of the time I just pop in a podcast or some music depending on what I'm feeling like and I just walk and I kind of just take it as a bit of me time honestly it's just so chill speaking of podcasts actually I haven't said anything I've been getting quite a few questions about my podcast and when it's going to come back I'm so aware that there hasn't been a new episode in a few months now I want to say and if I'm being completely honest I just lost all my motivation with it. I literally recorded like two episodes that have no just never gone live because I just felt no motivation to edit them and that I've just felt no motivation to kind of get back on track um, but the amount of messages that I've received from you guys saying that you really really miss it has motivated me to want to keep going I wasn't sure if I wanted to continue for a bit but I definitely do want to start the podcast again um, I'm not sure when but it's definitely on the cards right now I'm focusing so much on my YouTube and a couple of other really really exciting exciting things that I know it's so annoying for me to be like oh like I'll tell you soon you'll find out soon but I really just want to keep them a surprise for now because I don't know I'm just so excited to like launch them in a fun way oh my arm is getting sore but yeah I'm focusing so much on those three things that the podcast has fallen out of my priorities kind of thing but I definitely definitely want to start it up again as I said I'm not too sure when that is going to be but it's definitely on the cards I think I want to do a bit of a revamp on it that's for sure give it a bit of an update but yeah I just wanted to mention that because I have been getting a lot of questions lately and I did just want to talk about it on a video also surprisingly walking if you do it like well enough like right now I'm kind of walking and talking but if you go hard it can be a decent workout the other day I went on this like seven and a half k walk so it was like decent and there was loads and loads of hills and I am not lying to you when I say that my bum was genuinely sore for like two days after it I was so confused because I was like, what the hell? I haven't done a workout. But I tell you what, going up those hills gets the booty working. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering to you, stop chatting your ear off, get back to my podcast and just kind of like get some fresh air, have some me time and get a bit of movement in. <gasps> Hello! Hello, little boy! Are you still in bed? Yeah. <laughs> I ended up walking... 7.08 kilometers. I know. I know. I was going out aiming for five, but usually I get excited and want to keep going. My average pace was 10.36, so I took it pretty slow. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Also, guys, if you're wondering why I didn't take Odie on the walk, his collar or harness that we've got for him doesn't fit him anymore. So we're going to get one for him over the next couple of days. But yeah. If you're wondering why don't you take your dog for a walk, that's why. My camera is flashing that it needs to be charged, so I think I'll pop it on charge. I'm gonna go have a shower because surprisingly, I was sweating loads during that walk. So I'll pop it on charge while I have a shower, wash my hair because that really needs to happen, get all fresh, and then we can make some dinner. Okay, as you can see, I've had a shower, washed my hair, I've got my pimple cream on, did my skincare. I'm in clean pajamas. I feel so fresh and amazing. I'm just making some dinner now. We are actually having leftovers from last night because we had a bunch of leftovers. It doesn't look as good on the camera as it does in real life. But it is my mac and cheese. It's like dairy free from my ebook. And we haven't made it in so long. And I just had this craving for it last night. So I made a big batch of it. But I think the plan for tonight is we're going to watch a movie. Hey. Yeah. yeah? Going to watch Star Wars, which Sam's very happy about. Also, don't mind the mess on our kitchen bench. This is a new package from Gymshark I got and I need to put it all away. But yeah, we're gonna have a bit of a movie night, which I'm very excited about. Have some mac and cheese. And I also wanted to do something that is very fitting for this video. A very momentous occasion that needs to be in focus. <laughs> Here we go. A very momentous occasion. 
there she goes. Goodbye. I no longer need you and your problems in my life. It feels very good. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. So much better than yesterday, dude. Yes, it's so much better than yesterday. It's better than like, yesterday was amazing. Because it's, it's like... Better still. Because it's leftovers. Hello. I feel like you haven't been in the vlog much today. He always goes hyper after dinner. <laughs> Don't you? Are you going to still look at that tongue? What's that tongue doing? <laughs> He's honestly got the longest tongue I've ever seen. Moody. Oh Movie is paused. It's time for dessert. Both got some ice creams. My last Cornetto. This is exactly what I feel like. There you go. Mm. Blue? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like. Cheers. Boop. <laughs> is a couple of hours later. Shimoni is so cute. Um, we have finished the movie now, finished dessert. I also had an adrenal switch, which I have every single night. It's no surprise here. Hey! Um, but I just wanted to have a bit of a chat about just kind of like, I don't know, not being afraid to not eat clean foods all the time. I definitely once was in a place where I would have never reached for like say one of those cornettos that i just had and that just kind of led to a lot of bad food behaviors and just like a bad relationship with food and so i feel like now i'm just at the place where as much as you know most of my diet and what i eat is made up of whole like whole foods and nourishing foods i'm not seeing like good or bad foods i just try and include and focus on including as much excuse me <laughs> i just focus on including as much nutrient dense food as i can but if i want an ice cream i'm gonna have an ice cream you know what i mean mentally it's just so much better to think like that in my opinion for me anyway i really really hope you guys have enjoyed this one give it a thumbs up if you did did you enjoy this one do you mean that I enjoy my sleep all day? <laughs> yeah. I worked really late last night, if you're wondering why he was in bed all day. Got a bit of scar. Didn't wash off. I love you guys so much. I honestly appreciate every, each and every one of you so, so much. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. I was looking at my channel analytics the other day and worked out what it says that 55% of my viewers or people who watch my videos aren't subscribed which was just insane to me so if you watch my videos and well, if this is your first time watching my video and you enjoyed um definitely make sure to subscribe it really supports my channel and what i do i've got a lot of really really exciting videos coming up i really want to start a hormonal balancing slash getting my health back in check kind of series i think different episodes i'll be like episode one episode two that kind of thing i feel like that'd be really fun i look fabulous you can tell how close i feel with you guys because this is how i'm putting myself out there anyway that's really all i'm gonna sign off this vlog i feel like it's gonna be quite long but i really really hope you enjoyed again and i'll see you in a few days all right bye Ready? <laughs> do you say bye <laughs>